What's up and welcome everyone to a new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video and welcome to the second episode of my new series Best in Standard where I play top tier standard decks to either help you climb the high mythic ranks or help you in finding the perfect deck choice for the standard regional championship qualifiers that are happening right now. Today we're going to have a look at my second choice for the RCQ season, the Mirror Midrange. Now if you're interested in seeing the video on my first choice, make sure to check out episode 1 of my Best in Standard series. And just like with the Simi Cookie deck, I'll also be posting a sideboard guide on my Patreon for this one, which will be posted in the next couple of days, but we're also keeping in the sideboarding in this video to help you gain more insight and learn to play the deck better. So let's talk about the deck. This is a Demir midrange deck that has access to a bunch of sweet creatures with flying and has access to great disruption spells, making it almost a tempo-y and aggressive leaning midrange deck that focuses heavily on drawing cards and disrupting your opponent. Now one of the key cards in this deck is Gix Yawgmoth Preorder, since it allows you to draw a card off your flyers dealing combat damage to your opponent. Now card advantage is the strongest aspect to this deck, since it's capable of drawing many cards also thanks to cards like Fairy Mastermind and Preacher of the Schism. And while you stay drawing your cards, you deny your opponent from executing their game plan and disrupting yours with cards like Deep Cavern Bat, Deshana's Tidebinder, Make Disappear and a bunch of removal. Now one of the best curves that you can get in standard at the moment, in my opinion, is a turn 1 Spikeless Siren to a turn 2 Deep Cavern Bat followed up by a turn 3 Gix which allows you to draw two cards on turn three, and this deck is capable of that. Now, one of the downsides to this deck is that it's very important for this deck to be drawing cards, else it burns out really quickly. You want to draw a lot of cards so you can get a lot of board presence as soon as possible, because if you fail at that, you risk just having a few low power creatures on the board. This can allow your opponent to overwhelm you easily, especially if you also run out of disruption. Now there are ways to buff up your low power flyers through exploring, like with Subterranean Schooner, which does help. Playing against super aggressive decks like Mono Red, especially while on the draw, can also be tricky. You can give yourself a better matchup here if you're expecting a lot of aggro decks by changing Fairy Dream Thief for Shouldered the Apocalypse, or you can also put a few Shoulders in the sideboard. Now I haven't really felt like I needed her in my games, but the option is there. I've been playing without her in this deck also because I'll be playing this in RCQs and I'm not planning on going in depth for a playset of Shouldered. <laughs> anyway, I am a super big fan of this deck and I think it's definitely tier 1 in the current mana and thus a solid choice for climbing to the top of the ladder or playing it in an RCQ. Let me know in the comments what you're planning on playing in RCQ season and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Now let's get into some gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic guard safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. What do you think of Domain? It's not for me and I don't respect it. <laughs> it's not for me and I don't respect it. That's what I feel about Domain. Is it a good deck? Yeah. Do I respect it? No. So. You, you couldn't catch me playing it, but. You know. Just a fair piece of removal on that one. Let's have a look what this is. Now, Deep Cavern Bat into Gix. That's the type of stuff that makes me feel alive. Ooh, we're looking at Boros Convoke. What the fuck are we going to hit? That's the question. So, Imidane is very scary. Resolute reinforcements really gives them gives them two creatures and also makes the knight a lot better. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go after reinforcements. Yeah, Quentin Gnome Lady. The Gnome Lady? Oh, an Impical. I was like, who? We got ourselves an Eclazot, but let's let me get. It's got to be respectful of that uh, Witch Talker Frenzy, too. Hopefully, we'll draw some good cards, though. That is okay. I don't think they're going to be able to beat Necklazots. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. Aggressive Witch Talker Frenzy. That's fine. That's fair. Oh, this is a. Uh, let's get out of this outro. That's a banger. Maybe we should go into like our 80s final girl playlist. Where even is that? I worked on it for like Halloween and I kind of gave up on it. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's scary here? 
I mean, Imidane is obviously incredibly scary and a big part of the deck. Knight Errant, though? Also very scary. I think I'll go after Knight Errant. Because... Unless they get, like... Okay. <laughs> okay, that's not... That's not good, then. Unless that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, well. Mm, it's all right. Cart Gnome Lady. <laughs> Fucking Animpical. The best nickname. <laughs> I respect it. Oh, that's a big fucking bunny. But now I can discard Imidane. Okay. Eclisalt, we love you! This thing is so good, I cannot believe that. I feel like if you're playing black midrange of any kind, and you don't have one Eclisalt at the top end, you're doing it wrong. And I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I think that's a huge misplay for anybody. Shove it in Golgari, shove it in Esper, shove it in like Rectals. I don't I don't care, you know. It's the most playable god, absolutely. It's definitely the most playable god. It's incredible. I'm actually think thinking about like chumping this with a bat and then Akazots can discard it. I'd whiff on a card draw, but... Is that worth it? Maybe actually block the evangelist. Oh, I guess they have the fucking... Yeah, hold on. You're right. I didn't... For some reason, I didn't see the Phyraxian Goblins. You tell me. Um, like, would I care about this? I, I didn't see these. I think I just... I don't know. I need to get myself checked out. I'm not sure. So I go through then. You tell me, y'all. Drawing a lot of cards here. Gaining a lot of life. Deshana on Sanguine is kind of premium. God, Gix, like... Gix quickly becoming one of my, my all-time favorites, I fear. Like, what, what do you mean you draw three cards like that? Like, what the fuck do you mean? so good as if these bats weren't like good on their own gix just makes it so much better it's good to see gix shine again like truly though truly there we go see why people made a cult, cult around gix <laughs> how do i join like is there any signups where's the sign up sheet like i am so down to join uh, Gix's cult for sure. Say less. Say less. Okay, we gotta get our glissy deluges. Nah, like this, like every card in this deck just slaps. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but all of the cards in this deck just scratch that, like, you know, they hit the spot, they scratch the itch. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know. It just does it for me. It just does it for me. I'm curious why I don't like domain. Um, first of all, I don't like board wipes. Second of all, I don't like ramp. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I I don't like free win decks. 
Does that make sense? It's the dead deck can often feel like, all right, I wipe the board, I win the game. I play my attracts up, my opponent doesn't have removal, I win the game. It feels very cheap. Like that. Just cheap gameplay. Yeah, the mirror seems like a nightmare. I, I don't think there's anything appealing about that deck. Anything at all. I like to work for my wins. I like to slowly play my car, every card victory, not just like wipe a board and then slam in a Traxa and like, wow, I'm so good at the game. You know, I draw the right cards kind of vibe. I would much rather prefer to like slowly build up a board and draw some cards and interact with my opponent and like feel like I earned my wins rather than uh, board wipe and slam a Traxa. Hope my opponent doesn't have interaction win the game kind of vibe. That's how I uh, prefer to play this game. I you can probably get a three-page essay why I don't like it, yeah. Have you ever given us for voting filters? No, I, I enjoyed it. No, it's true, it's true. Like, a track saw is just, like, so broken. It's like, well, here's a 7, uh... Here's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer with lifelink, death touch, and vigilance. On top of that, I draw 7 cards. I guess... Could... <laughs> nice try, you know what I mean? I, I don't like those types of, uh... Types of cards, types of decks. I feel, as a matter of fact, I feel like cards like that just shouldn't exist in the game anyways. Um... Yeah. I, I like the, the dance between both players that magic can be. I like when both when both players are capable of playing the game and eventually someone wins. Yeah, Eugene. Obviously, I was a Eugene hater back in the day, but that's also my taste. Like, if you enjoy different types of stuff, obviously, no shame in that, you know? No shame in that, but that's just my preference. Go to second main. Alright, so there is the, the one once. They made a busted EDH card, never considered how much ramp would make her 60 card playable. Yeah. Ooh, that's Imidane, that's some bunnies. I'll stop the bunnies. Yeah, like Karn, Karn was also like, I don't know. I just, I just don't like those. I play this card and win the game kind of stuff. But as you all know, like I'm also a true sacrifice enjoyer and sacrifice is also just slowly, slowly building your way up to win. I don't know. I'm just a... Uh, And so, and very often, like, those cards that are just, I play this and win a game, win in magic. <laughs> so sometimes it's a struggle bus to not be, like, an enjoyer of those decks. Like, I wish I could be like, holy shit. A track saw? No, love this card. Let me do this. Have the, having the best time of my life. I fear I am too much of a fair magic enjoyer. Favorite card ever, Priest of Forgotten Gods, without a doubt in my mind. And yes, I will play her in Explorer Qualifier again, probably. If I can play Sacrifice, we'll try. Hey, here we go, Mythic. Time to brew and uh, maybe climb the number one tomorrow, depending on where we are on the ladder. What's wrong? Do you know what's great about the Preacher? 16 is a pretty number. It does everything. Hey, Milk, thank you for 16. Thank you so much. First of all, I'll see if I can list all of them and I'll probably still forget some of them. The three mana 2-4, which puts it out of like cutdown range and a high toughness of four is really good in this meta because most things will have like three power. So it's a great booker. On top of that, it's even better than that because it's got death touch. <laughs> this makes it like the ultimate booker, right? Um, it can generate a bunch of tokens for you with lifelink when you're behind, behind on life. And when you're ahead on life, it will draw you cards. If it gets blocked, then it will always take something with it. So, um, 
it's kind of like freely attacking often because of the death touch and that makes it very powerful too what else do we have to this little guy i think that's about it I think that's most things why it's, it's such a good creature it's just incredibly versatile it's got great stats great keywords can mean card advantage can mean chump blockers for days like it does a lot and uh when you're playing like mid-rangey piles a card that does a lot is usually what you're looking for so yeah that's it All right, here we are against Domain. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's true. It's just, uh, it's just really good. It's really, really good. All right, let's try Gix. I think they have a play line, though. But we'll see. Yeah. Ooh, Besejo. We're getting ramped up. Thanks, Bestie. Just got some more blue here. See if I can get out of Black Virtue range. I don't know. Okay. I was about to say, I don't know if they still play that. Some do, some don't, I guess. All right. Just go for the throat. We move, honestly. This hand is looking fantastic right now. We have our make disappear. We have our Tishana, Sister Patraxa. We're kind of we're kind of gaming with this one. We have a good shot here. You wanna sunfall me? You wanna funfall me, bestie? I'm actually not against make disappear here. Because I do have the Tide Binder and I do have another air tie. This topiary isn't awful, is the problem. So it would ramp them up from five to six. They play land for turn already? They did. Um Yeah, well I still have air tie, right? And I have the Shana for a track saw. Mm, I think I'll just play Fairy Mastermind instead, I think. I think I can get through this because the preacher has the death touch, which is just really nice. Um, this banger. Well, it does do something, but not right now. It doesn't do anything yet. <laughs> so now we draw a card of this thing, which is huge. There's just so much card draw capabilities in this deck, which is just fucking awesome. We love it. Call me obsessed or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Tidebinder just does so much. All right, they want to land and try to cast it. I mean, it's scary to cast such an expensive spell against um, the mirror. You know? All right, Topiary's got Vigilance now. Let's see what it is. New Topiary. I think I'll remove a topiary now, actually, because I still have Mastermind in play, so I draw a card too. Malcolm. That's good. Let Malcolm come help fix the hand and stuff like that. Good value. No, that's true. Pretty stonks right there.
So what is this hand? I can play bad. All right, because we might need to stop Sunfall here. That's huge. It's true. Ooh, that's pretty nice. All right, let's fast turn then. I don't want to overcommit here. Glenn's going to get close to like being able to survive. Uh, three, five. So then they have four so they could stop make the spirit Sunfall. How much do we have on the board? I mean, I think we just have lethal if Tashana like counters this binding, so... Like, ugh, tight binder, like, mm -mm, you are that girl, like, you are that girl. She is that bitch. <laughs> we love her. So good. Like, just actually destroys the whole domain deck. That was a timeless event. <laughs> I think all things considered, we did as best as we could. I think the deck performed. I mean, the deck, we, we had below average draws, but the outcome was kind of what I had expected. It was all right. It was fun anyway. Uh, it was actually a recap of some of the games on my YouTube channel, uh, if you want to watch some of them back. All things considered, it was all right. I actually signed up for, um, there's like another event happening on Sunday, another like timeless content or like not content creator class just like a timeless tournament i had a free entry so maybe we'll uh, give it another shot probably not going in with retrofitted foundries <laughs> uh we weren't too degenerate yeah so we went two and three i think one game we got really unlucky i think we could have gotten a three and two but you know i'm okay with what we ended up uh, getting it's not as we're playing demir flyers kind of you had fun though, right? Yeah, I did have a good time. I did have a good time. All things considered, you know? Oh yeah, I fucking hate that I have- like, I love this style, but this bug needs to get fixed. For real, for real. For real, for real. About the top defense you made along the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's about the top you made along the way. Gaff. Uh, I was playing Boros Sculptors, which it, it was the coolest deck. I won't, I won't lie. Usually, like my ego isn't uh, high enough to say such things, but um, nah, it definitely was the coolest deck for sure. That was the coolest. Fuck, maybe I'll go like this. Gotta figure out how to like sideboard this one. Yeah, it was cool as fuck. <laughs> Yo, the amount of like one landers in this 24 land deck is not right though. Shit. Trench warfare. You think you piloted the copters? Ahaha. Uh, Ahaha. Uh, Haha. <laughs> uh, I have one Malcolm in this deck. How does this fair for this motto red? Um You got a lot of interaction. Bad can gain you some life. You got a high toughness blockers in preacher. I have an Aklazot at the top end. I think it's pretty okay. I think it's good. I think just an average, like average uh, matchup. It's definitely a keep. I'm just thinking, like, what am I gonna get rid of? It might just be Mastermind. I kind of don't want to miss out on land drops, and Bat is obviously pretty good. So we'll see. And I want to curve, but I don't have to curve. I can though. I can curve now. We take that. Okay. Some scary shit in here. Um, definitely moving ley line. Yeah, especially if you like manage to successfully like buff it up with like um 
a map token or like a boat huge well i was gonna grab invasion but that makes it easier for me i guess well i thought i was gonna grab invasion but <laughs> you know vibes i guess all right gix you're up oh god i love gix what a fucking creature y'all i wonder if there's like a sacrifice deck playable with deep cavern bats <laughs> I haven't tried- you know what? Yeah, maybe you could make an anvil deck with deep cavern bats in it, low-key. I guess you- I guess you could. It would up the power level of the deck, uh, you know? Greedy, greedy. She's going back to anvil. Well, first up, you guys voted for me brewing a Pia Quintorius deck. So I'll be doing that today. The gate. Ooh, that's spicy. So yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that today, but um, yeah, maybe I like have to look into Junt Anvil, something something bats in Anvil. Like who knows? I think this is in a gate. It's too free, and that is a binding. All right. Chat always praying my downfall. I'm used to it. <laughs> Shit. Play Restless Reef, I guess. Welcome to Top Deck Mode, everybody. On my end, three lands. My opponent's end. Who knows? A land. Ooh, Lily. Hmm, I think I'm just swinging with Restless Reef, though. You mill four cards. Sheesh, that's some power mill to the top there. All right. <laughs> Obstinate Bailiff. Okay, vibes. Uh, let us Liliana minus. So, I, I don't play Atraxa, so maybe there's Atraxa players in the chat that can answer this question for me. How many Atraxa players have Bailiff in the sideboard? Is that just like the norm? Like, honest question. Is that just what they do? Because I feel like every time I play against a Traxa, they'll have a Bailiff. In, like, one way or another. It's like half of them. It's like anti Lily tech, but not all the decks play Lily anymore either. I've been wrecked more of it by, like, playing Obnixilis and Envil. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was gonna just like get rid of that and then anyway. Lily sucks. I don't think she shucks she shucks too much. I think she's pretty good still. We might be wanna try we might wanna try that out. You playing timeless tainted pack because you're a bad person. <laughs> oh god. Timeless tainted pact. I see, I see. I see, I see. Why is this like light slowly getting like more intense like you're killing my eyeballs chill bestie chill ashley's cookie ashley's cookie ashley's cookie ashley's yo cookie. spyro 22 cookie 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 we do love the cookies big fan big fan do you think this is a top mythic deck? It won the standard, standard qualifier, so yeah, it's great. I would say it's ab absolutely tier one. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So much fun to play too. The Shelly version. Hey, that's not necessarily true. Don't forget negative. Even Esper is boarding out of Shelly's. 
or boarding out of Shelly's. They just don't play Shelly anymore at all. Shelly is not a necessary creature anymore. Standard. Times are changing. Thank God, because she's fucking expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got countered, I guess. Thank God, yeah. We do love to see it. Just facing a main deck that had enough lands to lay us in an Archangel with caverns. Bruh. Oh, bruh. Not even a bruh moment. That's just trenches. I would like to get this out of cut down range, if possible. Um. Shove that in the grave. Not taking a risk on that one. Hi, I'm a new player. I'm wondering how do you make your decks? So I'm making a few decks on my own, but they were really bad. So just play the same modern aggro deck. Found on the tap. Any advice? It's a lot of practice. Like, the more you understand, like, it's really difficult because the more you understand how, like, a good Magic Gathering deck functions, the more, like, the better you'll get at, like, building a deck. Um, but then still it requires a lot of, like, understanding of the meta, understanding of the good cards, so it's it's quite tricky to do. Um, as a new player, I wouldn't try aiming for that yet. I would just try to learn the meta as much as you can, and eventually, like, you can make a few changes for cards that you feel, like, are good, and then you can put those in your decks and slowly make them more your own. But yeah, that's, like, a lot of people don't build their magic decks, also because MG Arena is just expensive. So I wouldn't feel rushed to do that. Definitely. Let's shut that down. Yeah, I would just learn a meta and become like comfortable and become a good player. And then uh you'll get there eventually. Yeah, no problem. You can always do it though, like it's always encouraged to just like experiment with cards, but don't feel like pressured or anything. <laughs> they just oh they just got really close to giving me lethal there. Counter. Mm -mm. Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that like high rank is meaningless because obviously you do get more packs and like it can give that sense of accomplishment, you know. You learn you learn a lot when you get to like higher ranks. Which counts for something learning y'all in this economy at least you can try some things as you're enough papers just too expensive it depends <laughs> it, it that really depends loki because um yeah i don't know once you get the mythic the rewards stop yeah that's true all right, we're up against Esper Midrange, which is very close to where we're playing, but they just have Rafines. The main player of the luckiest motherfuckers I've ever seen. <laughs> real, real. Can they proxies on Arena? True. Okay. Anoint. Definitely anoint. Definitely a cut down. I mean, interaction will come at a premium rate. Card draw is good. Maybe not Dream Thieves. I don't hate like this. Hmm. Let's try this one out. Find a different banger. What do we have? I got some bops in here. Bop check? This kind of is bop. Bop. 
I mean, people play the rank ladder because you want to have that sense of like getting the mythic, right? <laughs> so it means something. It's like a sense of accomplishment, right? Even though like you're not getting a cake for doing so, it's still like, you know, it's still something cool to achieve. Something to work towards. Like you shit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know you're gonna be against like people of like a similar like rating. Well, I don't know how true that is necessarily, but kinda. The idea is there. Alrighty, I'm gonna put my little Spyglass Siren in play and hold up Make Spirit Affliction. Don't think I'm playing the Deep Cavern bed right now. Because uh, there might still be some removal on my opponent's side. Uh, that's not worthy of a counter. Well, I don't think that's necessarily too true, Grail. So you do have a month to accomplish it a month to get mythic and if you start from platinum that is absolutely doable thank you kiss the number one i will i will <laughs> i'm just trying to get a little bit of practice a little bit of variety with some different decks here uh you know but yeah i will definitely get cookies to number one don't you worry thinking about like getting an early mythic and then i can uh, make it happen i guess that's fine the grind yeah it should be doable like in the first 10 days of the season so can I, if i can like just snatch mythic right now i can do it okay so that requires my blue this is where trench warfare starts coming in play <laughs> Pay for my sanity. Thanks, Bestie. <laughs> you are appreciated. Passing a turn, I guess. This song is such a bop. Like, it's such a good album. We stand. What, you want to actually, like, draw cards here? I guess if I draw cards in a mastermind on their end. <laughs> This is gonna be like this. Okay, that's really silly, actually. Uh, everybody just draws a, b a billion cards, is what you're trying to say. I mean, I got Tide Binder to shut it down, too. That might be okay. The Master My Loop. Let's try Tashana. Like, I'm kind of not down to play that game yet. <laughs> yet. I don't think I'm a, a fan. Let's slum a bat here. <laughs> oh, this is just silly. Like, sure. I'm just goofy. Everybody with the tight binders. Okay, fine. That's just silly stuff. <laughs> Maybe we're like trying to. Oh. Boo, that's Shelly. That kind of sucks. Oh god, not, not the remix, right? Surely. Surely not the remix. Surely not the remix. All right, we might need to go in on the bat to try and like negate the the life gain.
Oh, this gets tricky. This gets tricky. Two masterminds? Tradesies? Yeah, exactly. Target ability, not card. Exactly. Just trying to figure out if I'm okay with this. Probably. Better not lose this game to fucking children again. I'll lose it. Not again, please. Not again. Actually thinking about just permanently like removing this Rafine. And maybe I could like double block with Tishana on Shouldred or something. Or maybe just with Creature of the Schism. Like, I gotta come up with something. These Meg Disappears are starting to feel really bad. Though. They also still have Plaza of Heroes to protect Shelly. We're gonna get into Trench Warfare territory. But like, if we pop the plaza, then our removal is active again, so... You gotta try, I guess. So there goes plaza. Which enables go for the throat off the top one time, light work, sh no, no struggle. Fuck, it's fucking Gix. No! Okay, it's not even a Bora moment anymore, it's just... Let's see what this is. Just be land. I need to see if we can explore onto this, please. And now it's land when I don't want it. Okay. I better not lose another game to Shelly. There's only so many losses to Shelly I can take. Where are my three gopher throats at, dude? Like... It's giving trenches? Is this a hag? No. Have mercy. Have mercy? God. It's not giving, Chief. It's not giving. I just have to draw, I guess? Don't. Damn it. Alright, GG's. Oh. I don't know, man. I'm like three fucking pieces of removal to main. For Shouldred. <laughs> it's not enough. Hate her. Hate her. I do hate her. Every time. Okay, let's try to get our revenge, I guess. Okay, well, no removal here, but, uh, or interaction, I like, <laughs> other interaction. Aha! We have a boat. Yay. With Tide Binder, I guess that's somewhat interaction. Akhazot could put in some work, you know? Hmm.
It's a boat! Yippee! You guys always get hyped when Eric Kendrick Lamar song plays. Let's see if I can put another in a queue for y'all. The most iconic one. You just listen a lot to like Damn when it came out. Okay, we got we got we got removal, y'all. Believe it or not. Sheesh, we could get our preacher back. That is just great. I'm not mad at a land. I'm not mad. Technically drew a card there. A Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! You out here just cutting my my boy down? Sure. Watch me regret this. Anyway. <laughs> Make the spear. Actually? Fucking hell. Alright. Um. I guess I got a mastermind. But I'm so... I, I can't be scared of Shelly. She can bully me every time, right? Surely not. How often can she bully us? Alright, I don't hate that. But then I'm not holding up to Shana or playing Eclazots. But Bat's good though. Also like a guaranteed explore on that thing. Sure. She can in fact bully you. <laughs> don't say it! <laughs> Shut up! All the birds getting caught. Don't mention the hag's name. At least we're not getting hit by Make Spear. That's the upside of this one. Let's see what's in the hand. At least we get some information. Or not, I guess. That's fine, though. Shelly for sure, <laughs> I fear. This is premium, though. This land's good. This is why I love Boat. Like, thanks for the cards, bestie. <laughs> thanks for the cards. Boat absolute premium rate. Yeah, I don't think you're in a position to attack Bestie. Ooh, nope, they just... Oh, oh! <laughs> Whoa! Tishana is revealed too? Wait, what? Does that mean they didn't do the math? They have all... They have full knowledge of the hand. So who's not doing math here? You can swing with me for four. I'll play Tishana. I'll play Ekazots. You gotta block Tishana. But I'm also swinging in my boat. You're just dead, all right. They go to six. They broke my boat. I swing at them for seven. I'm blocked. All right, Bestie's just not doing the math on that one. Hey, Girthy, thank you so much for the gifty. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ayo. They just did not do the math there. Unless I didn't do the math. Pretty sure I did, though. Okay. It, yeah, it wasn't very heads up, I fear. I don't know what their hand looked like, though, so maybe they got, like, a little desperate with it or something, but, uh... All right, is this mono blue? <laughs> I'm not a hater. I'm not an enjoyer, but I'm not a hater. I'll do it. We do like finding a uh, black on the top. Here it is, guys. Oh, the holy mug. 
The holy mug. The little guy. Mm -mm -mm. Fire. Not saying hello. Uh, no. I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's probably like a white human deck, I imagine. Maybe Boros. That's sniped at uh, whatever. Alright, let's grab the Brutal Cathar because uh, we can shut Adeline the fuck down with the Shanas. Okay. Our cookie's not good enough for RCQs. I bought into them, so uh, I'm fully believing in them. I am fully believing in them. I'm playing in them, uh, whatever RCQ I can play them in. I'm a believer. RCQ is a regional championship qualifier. Homie is drawing only gas at the top. Holy shit. Can't afford not to believe I'm getting a soul called <laughs> Real. Nah, I really believe in that deck. I really, really do. Why would I block a zero for? Kill it. Would I not put four? And would I not have to put four toughness in front of that, or four uh, power in front of that? I'd rather like. Don't really care. I'm afraid that they have like reanimators or whatever it's worth. I don't think they have like removal for Tishana. I think a good white aggro deck in this current meta plays a 3-2 reanimator guy or like maybe even other reanimator spells. So. Well, I forgot that this person is lucky as shit, so never mind. Now I should have just shoved everything in front of it. I can't believe. <laughs> this person is high rolling everything, dude. It's unreal. Count your blessings, I guess. Jesus Christ. Well, now it does do something, yeah. Homie just, uh... Needs to play in the lottery, I think. Cause that's crazy. I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm just fucking dead. Amazing gaming chair. Yeah, mold of five. Hit land of the top. Played Adlin. Then hit Cathars. Hit Knight Aaron of Eos off the top for Hopeful and Skrelf. Like, okay, bestie. Okay. <laughs> like, all right, all right. Fine. I'm just going to concede and we'll, uh, we'll beat him. See if you can deal with these glistening deluges. Still by three lands, never draw another. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know the drill, you know? You know the drill. Magic is an easy, easy game. Truly. <laughs> that was insane, though. Like, actually, white off the top exactly when they needed to cast Adeline. When Adeline was the only card in hand, then into Knight Errant of Eos, then into another Brutal Cathar. <laughs> so silly. So silly. 
I mean, I played it bad with that uh, Adlin though, but uh, the Maw game, yeah. Maw game strong. Mm, one lander in my 24 land deck. Only three drops in my 24 land deck. All right, I fear we had the mold deeply there. This hand is uh, not very great. But who knows, we could hit some flyers. Yeah, right, we could draw nuts. It's true, if the opponent could do it, we can too. It's true, it's true. Boat's good, boat's great. Boat and kicks. Even though, uh, yeah, you don't really have a great attack here because it means you take five, I fear, so... Don't really, can't really afford that against white human aggro. <laughs> New kicks. That's just goofy. Not the, the premium draws that we need, I'm afraid. This is going to be two one ones flashed in. All right. And to Adeline. Premium, premium. All right. Really would like the Didimir flyer deck exactly to give me some flyers that would help. Into another fairy dream thief. Uh, I'm gonna shove it at graveyards. So I can draw a card of it actually. I quite like that. New Adeline, of course. Also, a mold of five. I mean, I have two gigses, so. Um, see what we can find. Land, no. Sidebinder. I can live with that, I guess. Let's draw a card. That. Uh, okay. Nah, it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be alright. We have, uh, we have Gig set up now, so that's pretty, pretty premium. I won't make the same mistake with Adeline again. Here we go, tight bind. Okay. Land. So the recruitment officer was active there, but I just give up. Yeah, like it's hard to try and like beat the gigs to draw a turn. But now we're gonna be on the draw, so uh, we gotta get a really good hand here. Hopefully, we'll have a game where no player has to mold a five. <laughs> we'll end up with the double mold of five. Us with the mold of five. Ooh, I can live with that. Opponent takes another mold. Jesus. I feel the pain. Mold of five equals a win, yeah. Damn, they have to do it again? Shit. That's really unfortunate. Kind of bad for him. As someone that always that feels like I got a mole every fucking game I play. It's trenches. It is trenches. Seven cards too many, a <laughs> skill issue. Truly. All right, let's see if we can uh, explore onto the Spyglass Siren. Dax is against two one ones and also protected from Glistening Deluge. Another Spyglass Siren? All right, sure, Bessie, come on in. Oh, 
hopefully not land Adlin. All right, not yet. I guess we'll take that. So uh, to not get wrecked by a night, Aaron of Eos, let's glistening deluge. There we go. Let me play Siren. Let me explore onto this one one. Bat. I'll take that. I can spore onto the bat too. Okay. It do be Adeline. It do be Adeline. Skrelv is also still active. Bad plucks like Adeline's tokens really nicely, so we're gonna stick with that. Just thinking about whether or not I can afford to. I would like to take out recruitment officer, I think, if I can. Swinging with both of these. Yeah, so now, like, the recruitment officer doesn't really have a good swing. Unless you, like, pop it now to get some value from that. I guess you gotta. I also do, like, protection from blue. I mean, protection from blue officer is something that they can do here, but I'm just gonna do it like this. Oh, not even popping the officer. Dang. That surprises me, actually. That surprises me. I felt like you pop. Okay. I guess maybe misplay. Maybe they click too aggressively. I don't know. Okay, dude, end a turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do we have here? Rest this fortress. Yeah, I just think this deck plays so fucking cool. I don't know why. I just love it. Considering uh, getting on paper. You know. Something about it is just so satisfying. It kind of feels like, I don't know. Just, it just feels good. You know? Bitch with horse in play. Some Orsoff stuff. Jesus, that is a lot of creatures. <laughs> Damn, um, uh... Alright, I'll snatch the wedding. Hi, new to the game. Should I play alchemy or standard? Play standard. Play standard in person? I do, I do. You always shock creatures in the legendary? Yeah, me too. That still shocks me a little bit too. Won't lie. Let's explore onto the bat. Let's whiff onto the bat. I mean, I could do Spyglass Siren try again. Um, not a hater for that, I guess. A boat. Mm, respectfully, I have to decline. Respectfully decline. Yeah, Preacher, like, Preacher just reads like it would be a legendary card. In the, the sense of, like, the abilities that it has and shit. <laughs> it just feels like it should be a legendary, but it's not. It's very weird. No, it's true, it's true. Axelots, get your ass over here, bestie. 
get your ass over here. Let's try to like shut down one preacher, I guess. Oh, it's the bat. Uh, I could cut that down. I'll do that, I guess. Cut. Flash in master. I don't think this opponent is gonna wipe the board anytime soon. Now this could be wrong, <laughs> but I, I don't think they would. Also, they were kindly they played Takanuma out there as well, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if I would have played Takanuma out there. Kind of could get you back like a something. But yeah, you do. Mm, I'm actually not against removing farmhand here. Because farmhand eventually, you know, bitch with horse can gain life. Bad news, but it happens, so... That's not... I do kind of have to come up with a plan to make these guys a lot worse. Um... Eventually. For now, I'll swing though. We're now all swing. That's fine, I guess. Because we're gonna do. We're gonna deny a preacher with Tishana. Okay. The rare 3 3 Fae? Ooh, I don't think that one is that good. That was kind of like a, a copium moment. I feel. You want to draw cards? Because I do happen to have a fairy mastermind. So I'm not against that. Aklazots. Deshana, it. There's a, vet, a preacher Deshana right now. Tishana doesn't work on enchantments. Couldn't Tishana Igonjo? Uh, yeah. Could've. But I have Fairy Mastermind, and they're gonna draw cards of it, so I'm drawing cards too, so I don't mind giving them a wedding. Like, I'm okay with giving them a wedding right now. <laughs> we need the command. Oh, what? what can you, uh, can you copy-paste it for me? I'll shove it in there. Actually... Let's see what this is. Big dinos and alchemy. <laughs> Big dinos. It is vibe. I feel like dinosaurs are like... Dinosaurs are like decks that killed me very easily. Because when I play dinosaurs, same shit with angels. You just shit your hand out and hope it does the trick. <laughs> There's not really like any decision making that you can take necessarily that would save you, so. Yeah. You stupid fucking dinosaur! That always makes me feel a little a little suspicious, uh whenever I play such decks. Okay, we're so we're gonna get a free bat. Love it. Surrendering to the hand. Surely no board wipe, right? Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Sure. Surely. Surely. Is she in the building with us? The like, I have nothing, let me attack with everything kind of attack. I see. I see, I see. But then not swinging with Restless Fortress? Sunfall, bet. Like, actually bet. Oh, it was a hag. Okay. 
like actually bad though that's gonna remove exosalts for sure let's put a new fairy mastermind in play draw an two cards actually how much do i have in air four five six seven eight Well, two, four, six, seven, eight. That should be enough. Even though there definitely can be like removal of some sort, but. Got him. Flyers beat people on the ground. Even though the preachers did a lot of fucking work. We, the fact that we survived past two preachers with free play. If you catch the vibe. You catch the vibe. That's where I want to be at. <laughs> yeah. Limited all stars. Limited all stars to deck versus uh, preachers. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't playing around the hag, but you know, I wasn't planning on uh, I mean, there's not much they can do, right? Like, if everything on my end flies, everything on their end does not. So, but uh, yeah, what information do we have? Preachers, weddings, bats and bitches with horses, peacekeeper, wandering emperor. It just feels like a value mid range pile. Yeah, there was no choice. I think my- was my mastermind not revealed? I don't think it was. Actually, I'm not sure. Why do you call it hag? No idea. Habit. Just like black, white, good cards, which... Definitely not a bad archetype, like... Def not a bad archetype. Yeah, I, I thought it was revealed, but I didn't want to... My memory, like, goldfish. We call it hag because that's hag. <laughs> that that's hag. But they didn't have a choice, right? It's not as if they could have held back with a creature and then like be alive against the fairy mastermind. So the opponent can't really do anything else there. It's hag. I actually think there could be some value in duress against them. I just fucking don't know what I'm boarding out. Maybe boat. Since they have so many like ground chump stuff. I don't know if they're actually going to play board wipes. They might. Sometimes best we can do hope for misplay. Yeah. We do not question the origin of the meme. <laughs> it's true. It's just there. It's true. All right. Spyglass Siren. Oh, there's just like, listen, listen, y'all. There is fucking nothing better in magic than a turn one spire, like the siren, turn two bet, turn three gates. Truly, truly. Draw two cards on turn three? Like, yup, absolutely. I love it. Makes me feel alive. Makes me feel alive. Legions to Ashes. What the fuck is that? And all tokens that player controls with the same name. Now, what the fuck would that hit? I don't know. You learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. Reads like an alchemy card. Reads like an alchemy card. Derogatory.
I mean, I shouldn't be too greedy here, I don't think. Anti cute swarm tack. <laughs> yeah, anti mice combo. Um, go for the throw got hit. Oh, interesting. I was definitely expecting that to be Galissi Deluge. Galicity. I'm actually just gonna remove it, I think. Fuck, punish with preacher. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Fuck, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. Damn it. Alright. So let's play Gix to bait the removal spell, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, they keep top decking removal. Dude, this is not good. Because that leeches to Ash's exiles. That's really not good, guys. Ooh, that's really not good. Damn it. Removal dot deck. It's gonna give it flying, aren't they? Yeah. I gotta find something to do here. Like, I'm not gonna lose my Akasot to that exile thing. Uh, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna dip then. I'm not gonna reveal it. I, uh, they just drew hot. Like, I don't know. They just drew hot. Not much else to say about it. I fear, I fear. I drew fire. <laughs> Recycle playing Golgari. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Yeah, they they were they were good. They were good. They were good. Mm -mm -mm. Mom, lucky cookie mug. Could have made some different decisions though, but like every time I tried something, like the ultimate punishment happened, so that's never good. All right, I'm not can't keep that. Why does this twenty-four land deck find this many one landers? Like you're making it rough on us, Chief. For what? You can't do that. You can do that. All right, welcome to the trenches. I fear, I fear. I guess I'll try. Do I play commander? Uh, sometimes. Kelly ate this. She really did. The album in general, though, wasn't that good. Like, Badam and, like, Tension were great, but the rest was kind of flopping. And I say that as a fan. I just kind of flopped. I don't know. New Preacher. I want to get my fucking cards. Your favorite doc. I just play some, like, fun pre-cons when I play. Boo, Shelly. Damn, did I go through? Oh, shit. Okay, how are we going to deal with Shelly? We do have our go for throats and bit of triumphs, don't we? We do, we do. Well, what's the play? It's like a fight away get poison on him, but I don't think that's possible. I don't have Mirax. Do I need Mirax? No, I do have Mirax. Got one Mirax in the stack. Got one Mirax. Vestia probably wants to find a way to make us draw cards. 
so that Shelly murders me. Which is weird. Mm, I mean, I could draw two cards of Mastermind once again. Shelly, you know? Evil, evil Shelly. Evil, evil Shelly. Idiots, big, big idiots in removal. I mean, it's a good strategy. <laughs> it's a good strategy, usually, uh. Steel Seraph. I mean, I do have Annoyance, so... I will be removing that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Easy chump, I think. Any throat speaking? <laughs> Yo, I got like one thro throat and like two bitter triumphs too, so uh. Just gotta fucking hit it, you know? I mean, I got bitter triumph here too. Bitter triumph, I mean, fucking rest is reef. Then I can't play bitter triumph, as I'm trying to say. Tricky. Maybe let's uh let's get an explore going here, see what we have on top. Yeah, that didn't help anything, did it? Alright, I'm gonna swing in bravely. I'm so brave. Okay, once again, not what I'm looking for. That is not what I'm looking for. Damn it. Yo, Ashley, thank you so much for uh, the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. That's not what I'm looking for, Chief. Like, I, well, I have, like, this stupid Restless Reef now. Uh, we just lose to removal. They, I'm sure they have it. Maybe not, though. Dream. Hag. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have shouldered removal. That's why we lost the game, like... I have three pieces of removal for her in the deck, which isn't much, but, uh, yeah. We also just flooded to hell and back. Damn. That was rough.